Hey, welcome back to Mage Slowly Learns How to Read, starring Sunless Seas. Uh, uh, right. We just got back to port, that's where we left off. Yeah, do your worst. So while I go through some of just the mundanity of collecting messages and resupplying my ship and all that good shit, a um, couple of things to bring people up to speed with what's going down. Uh, I finally decided on which of the endings I'm going to go for, even though I've already gotten it. I am going to do the uh, Avid Horizon ending because Fail Better Games has been making overtures that they're going to announce uh, bringing Sunless Skies to the PS4. And that game does not make a lick of fucking sense without the Avid Horizon ending. So we are going to go for that one. Oh, God, this in this game and this setting is very much a place where I'm like, God, the wiki is so fucking interesting. You can dive it so deep. I uh, play the game first. Part of the, the magic of this game is not knowing what the fuck is going on. Like that, that feeling that there's an underlying logic to this world and that uh, there's, there's some sense under all of it, but feeling completely alien and lost and it all being foreign and just piecing things together. Uh, you've spent time in my Segelia? Dear me, I'm most terribly sorry. I forgot there's a bunch of poor reports we haven't read yet. The Iron Republic. Excuse me, I need to unlock this and this. Oops, and this. Can you place a report inside? Uh, yes, I imagine someone will read it eventually. And there's always someone. Wait, this is blank. Yes, both sides. No, no, I assure you. No, I know these things happen in the Republic. Consider yourself an ex grata payment to cover your costs. <laughs> Fucking Iron Republic refuses to get anything written down about it. Oh, yes, the muddy philosophers do tell. Visage. Ah, the island that looks up. I don't suppose you found out what it's staring at. Port Cornelian. You know, sometimes I wonder whether that place is a good idea. I didn't say that. What's the old monster up to now? Okay. The Grand Geode. The Grand... Yes, yes, of course. We're generally quite well informed on that topic. But since you're here, perhaps you may as well let us know what your own impressions were. The Admiralty official takes notes scrupulously, but with an expression of mild terror, like a novice vivisector wincing with a scalpel. The rest of the office studiously busies themselves with other tasks. Ooh, something ominous is going on at Temperature Place. The Con Shadow. Oh, these are always fun. Come on, let's hear it. Other officers gather around to hear your tales from the bloodshed and debauchery, and the jokes about the con that the Shadow... Pr uh, the shadow produces so efficiently and so entertainingly. The one about the Khan and the donkey produces a roar of patriotic laughter and encourages the deputy recorder to unlock the department drinks cabinet. Ooh, boy. We shit talked another country and got free drinks for it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. More garbage. Okay. Hmm. So we are going... I'm still going to look for the Isle of Cats, just because the Isle of Cats is interesting. I do want to see how far this uh, thing goes. I think the next big thing to hunt for is the Compulsion of Markets, which is the best engine. Oh, that quest line is long, and I don't remember how to do it. All right, Venturer, what do you need? You need Outlandish Artifacts or Devil Bone Dice. Okay. Uh, all right. Hunting the Mountain is probably the next thing I should be doing. Consider a specialist surgeon. She is staying in a respectable boarding house near the docks and has made it known that she is available for work. Uh, da, da, da. I specialize in amputations. It's easy to acquire unwanted appendages at Z. She's not wrong. Uh, sure. Welcome aboard. She comes with a bag full of knives and her own personal sharpening stone. Don't touch these. Don't let anyone else touch them. Neat. Uh, I still need a chef. I only know of two and they're both at the end of quest lines. Fuck. All right, already been there. It's a Mariner tutorial. Don't need. Uh, visit the university. I don't want to do that yet. Rose Market. I don't have anything. Carouse the Wolfstag docks. Sure. Marvelous night out. Got recent news. Ooh. 
trouble and romance. That night in Wolfstack, you find yourself sharing a table with a likely lass. She tipsily claims to be a spy. Whether she is, she's easy to like. And when the evening ends, you're... And when the evening ends, you're still together. Okay. A dapper chap. An elegant fellow with a presbyterite accent and an unexpectedly delightful laugh. By the evening's end, it seems natural he should accompany you home. <clears throat> so, one of the upsides of this game's writing with how, like, how it implies more than it states, uh, you get to pick who you want to be your romantic partner and get married to and have kids with and all that good stuff. So, yeah, you can be whatever the fuck sexuality you want to be. Uh, Windsor Dinder Pemberdiddle is going to go with a likely lass. Uh, the next morning, she gives you a pewter locker. As you reach for it, she grips it briefly in her fist. Don't you dare forget me, she says. Uh, honestly, that's just, like, flavor text. Getting a romantic partner and getting a kid is how you get the Scion quest line, which is essentially... How you establish a save game in this. Because, yeah, you don't start with a seaside mansion. You start with, like, a shitty room above, like, a shop or something. And then as you go, you get more and more stuff. But this is, like, my... What are you? Windsor Diddle, Pimber Diddle, the seventh. Yes, this is my seventh run. And I have succeeded on some of my runs. And I've gotten a lot of money in several of them. Only takes one good run. Uh... I don't want to drop off any... Wait, Blimigans take up part of my hold, don't they? They do. All right, cool. I'm dropping one off. Fuck London. A great cloak clad figure waits in the shadows of a crane. You have any Blimigans? It inquires, hopefully. Its voice, a high fluting. A scarf covers his face. <gasps> it's a bunch of Blimigans in a coat. Here, go with them. Your Blimigan swirls across the dock like clawed and violent fog. Up into the great coat, it squares like a shrub. Thank you, the figure flutes. We have something for you, and we wanted you to have this. Our work. Though it's unsigned, of course, it retreats into the dockside mist, leaving behind a dark, a dank odor. A packing crate with some lovely poetry. <gasps> I have romantic literature. And some wine. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. It's uncensored romantic literature, too. Ooh, shops. Uh, the exchange... See, it's unapproved. Me. Uh, yeah, I'll just sell the wine. I don't need that right now. Do I need the human souls right now? Nah, I'll just sell the human souls. Haha, -ha, bye, losers. Forgot where I even fucking found you guys. Oh, well. Not my soul, I don't care. Uh, da -da -da -da, seven fuel, ten supplies. Time to buy more fuel. Oh, no, I'm up to... Oh, right, because I'm docked. Go to 20 fuel. <laughs> I have to decide where the fuck I need to go. I don't want a new light. What is my engine? The Bodacia. That's fine. My hold. Oh, I got rid of all my Blemigans. Okay. That clears up a lot of space in the cargo hold. Okay, I'm just going to fill up on fuel and supplies because I don't need anything else. 2514, that's a good spread. And I should probably actually, like, fucking do things with my officers while I'm here. So, with each of your officers, except for the comatose ferret, which all you can do is play with your ferret. A weary roll the eyes. Play that... <laughs> Play, that eye roll says, play. I played once in the happy warrens of London before you installed me in this floating coffin and made me eat dried food. Damn your play. It's an elegant eye roll. Yeah, uh, the ferret doesn't do anything. Each officer gives you uh, bonus stats. And having a doctor abo aboard has its own effect. There's a number of challenges that will randomly come up where if you don't have a doctor, it's a, it's a rough time. Uh, I don't think... Uh, yeah. The mascots typically don't have anything to them, but everyone else, like, speak to the ch uh, maybe's daughter. So, invite to dine typically has its own 
list of things, and that starts their quest line. Proposition, yeah, you can fuck most of your crewmates. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, and increase your stats. So every single uh, officer you recruit is a trainer. And also every single officer you recruit, except for the mascots, come in two stages. There's when you meet them, and then uh, they have an advanced form you get when you complete their quest line. And most of them have two forms. A couple of them uh, have one form and fucking off. Like... The Presperite Adventuress, one of her quest lines is just like, I want to fucking die. And you can either convince her not to, and she, like, changes the Presperite something or other, or you complete it, she dies, and you get some shit for it. Uh, but we're going to start with the Engineer, because he is where you get the best engine. Invite him to dine with you. His tastes are Spartan. He eats a little, drinks only water, barely sleeps at all. So you only need to lay a simple table. An appeal. Thanks for the meal and the company. No, no wine. It makes me sleepy. Oh, yes, I can sleep too easily. That's the problem. There's a draught I take nightly to substitute for sleep. It works well enough and it keeps me sane and upright. But I wish I could enjoy just one night's sleep. If you could help me. Uh, we will need a clay man from Polythyring. We'll need a mirror catch box. And we'll need to go to the Hunter's Keep. I'll explain when we get there. No, I'm serious. I would owe you a great deal. Okay, cool. So we need to go to the Khan's Shadow to get the mirror cast box. We need to go to Pilot Fire Room, and then we need to go to Hunter's Keep. Uh, oh, right. Hunter's Keep is like right next door. I keep forgetting it's not the... I keep mistaking it for the Shellanaut, which is way the fuck out there. Um, okay, so that's easy. That's easy enough. Uh, do I want to increase any of my stats while I'm sitting here? Because I should have a whole fuck ton of secrets. Uh, oh yeah, I have. Tw oh god, I have 20 secrets. What the fuck am I doing? So secrets. Wait. Let's say. Okay. Secrets are a very valuable resource, but uh, I think I'm going to turn some of them into stats. Uh. The Carnelian Exile is... Her questline is the East Ending, so I'm not really going to bother too much with her. Gun, the irres, Irrepressible Cannoneer. Eh, don't really need anything from him. The Haunted Doctor. Ernest learned prone to jump at loud noises. All right, so what do I need for each of these? Uh, invite to dine. I need torpedo components to dine with him. And fuel. Interesting. Uh, can bring my irons up. I want to bring my... Let's bring my hearts up first. Get more balanced stats. Uh, Surgeon, I think you're the one. Chat about science. Chat about politics. Ask about his medical career. Increase your hearts. An educational lesson. The doctor is methodical and scrupulous. You spend an informative afternoon and learn much. However, when you ask detailed questions on the anatomy of the eye, he grows uh, reticent and soon ends the conversation, complaining of a headache. Ooh, mysterious. Well, I have more secrets. Teach me more about hearts. Yeah, 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 you have headaches. All right. So that gets everything up to at least 60. I think I'm good for now. My pages and my irons is very strong for a number of reasons. All right, so let's set sail. Map. Okay, so. I need to get... What's the route I want to do? I think... I think we're going to do a southern loop. Because I need to hit Mutton Island. Uh, I'm, no. I need to hit the Con Shadow for the catch. And then pull a fire in. Because I want that engine. I really do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Uh, there we go. A great deal of this game is just plotting your course once you find everything. It's... It's such a weird... I'm not going to say it's fun. But it's very satisfying when everything works right. 
it, it's a lot like in a lot of ways it's a lot of like navigating in uh breath of the wild or it's a lot like the main gameplay loop in death stranding it's just one of those things where you get rewarded for planning and you get rewarded for thinking ahead and you get rewarded for things going to plan. And then the big question is, what else do you bring in order to make sure that when things don't go to plan, uh, you don't get fucking murked? There's a lot of that in a lot of these games that have an open exploration world. And that's something I miss in a lot of the like open world action adventure stuff, especially stuff like Far Cry or uh, the more modern Assassin's Creed games where it's like, oh, yeah, you can just like hide in a bush and you're you're fine. And then you can use stealth mechanics to just get out of any situation. It's like, I don't like that. I actually don't. And yeah, I know Death Stranding has that to an extent. Shut up. All right, I'm just going to butcher this for supplies. Oh, right. The little ones that just removes your hunger meter. OK, to Quaker's Haven. And Mutton Island, because I do have something awaits me in port. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, a wandering parson. He glances nervously back at the cock and magpie, but his handshake is strong. Sure. <laughs> he seeks passage to the Church of Lower Barnet, beneath the Z, just outside London. His suit is well tailored for an. E oh, an. Fuck, I, have, I always have a hard time with this word. An iterant preacher. His cufflinks wink like sapphires. Offer a passage for knowledge. Uh, offer a passage for knowledge. Offer a passage for money. Offer a passage for blessing. Give me knowledge. Ha, he gives you a knowing smile. You travel to learn as well as to trade. Captain, I myself am studying religions of the undersea. By extracting the most admirable elements from each, I mean to construct a modern, superior faith. I understand the value, and the spiritual value, of course, of hidden knowledge. Once on board, he insists you find a... He insists you find a quiet cabin, and whispers one of the secrets he's learned in your ear. Now that is interesting. Ooh, I got an intriguing snippet. Alright. Pick up a wretched mog. Horrible cat. Chat with the fishermen, visit the hilltop, buy supplies, buy fuel. Uh, I'm just going to explore the shore. What do I get? Beach combing. Driftwood. Something glittens. Nasty glob of glue. The remains of a shipwreck. Ooh. Oh, shit. A box of biscuits. Murgold's fungal, fungal crackers. An awful lot of them. One must hope. One must hope that you enjoy fungal crackers or have an extremely hungry parrot. Sick. Free shit. All right. Uh, chat with the fishermen. Yeah, give me a port report. Little ships and little secrets. Pirates plying the way, smugglers at the work, conate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest it. Okay. <laughs> Don't need to buy supplies. My hold over stuff. No, it's exactly on point. Fucking sick. All right. There's a weird quest line with that island. I don't know if I'm going to do or not. And I have a passenger on board. I need to drop off at Low Barnett. I'll do that on the way back. It's like, ha, huh, sucks to suck. I'm going in the opposite direction. Guess you're going to be on this boat for a while, random person. Preacher trying to Voltron a new religion together. Ooh, it's a big crabbo. I'm going to clap the crabbo. That giant enemy crap. It will break my knife, but I got cannons. Brown. Yeah, the Memento Mori is fucking, fucking strong. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll butcher it. I have an unpre, 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 Unproposing mass. Yeah, unproposing. Cool. Uh, I don't have a lot of terror, so I'm gonna fucking open it. What'd I get? A lamentable relic? A human skull? This isn't the ZB's stomach. What is it doing here? 
like a seed on a gourd. Neat. I found a bone. Let's go to Fungus Island, where I don't think anything interesting is left to do on the island. It's just a place to get free supplies when you take tea. But, hell, I'll take free shit. Demus Island. I think that's how you say it. I can't fucking read French. I can barely fucking read English. You people know that by now. By the way, I want to thank all of you for continuing to watch me stutter through this fucking nonsense. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, one of the fungi workers is watching your crew and watching the clittery air especially. What does he want? Whispering confidences. The tune colonist draws you a little way from the cluttery air. Don't tell her you met me, he says in a hoarse rasp. Her mother cut my voice. Hoped to fix it so I wouldn't be able to look for my daughter. So I wouldn't want to, he wheezes. Didn't work. Operators never... Operations... Bleh. Operations never completely effective. Need to know my daughter's well. Happy. Finding enough patience, getting enough to eat, and so forth. In exchange for the simplest news, he, explain he explains himself. I am her father, he says. Ordinary engineer. Not the sort of parrot she would want. Oh, okay. Uh, pilot port report. Tea with the factor. It's the same shit we got last time. Free supplies, less terror. All right. So the thing about this game is they've added like a bunch of little stories here and there, and it has been a couple of years since I've done a run in this game. So there, there's there's new stuff for me. Also, this game is fucking massive in its content, so like there are quest lines that even through my seven previous runs, I've never encountered. Because there's a lot. And some of it's mutually exclusive. And what the fuck just popped my... Oh, it's that pirate up there. Whatever. Whatever. Fine, fine. I guess you really want to die. Oh, now you're running. Bitch, you came after me twice now. Boop. Derp. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Climb up the other captain's butt. Ooh, they fired a flare. Sick. Sick, my cannons are better than yours. Thanks for making this go faster, idiot. Congratulations, you played yourself. Oh, oh trying to be sneaky. Ah, fuck! He actually shot me. Did he shoot me? Oh, yeah, he shot me. Ooh, that did actually a lot of damage. Shit. Uh. Ooh, investigate the wreckage. Oh, the port side. Oh! <gasps> It's the pirate poet! No wonder that thing did so much damage. Uh, throw her a robe, claim a bounty, or salvage the cargo instead. The Z may show mercy. You will not. The price of freedom. It takes three crewmen to pull the pirate poet from the Z's clutches, while others mutter about bringing an unfinished man, uh, an unfinished woman, aboard. She just smirks. She carries little on her, but the verses of poetry tattooed over her very, over every visible inch. An old sword, almost as chipped as she is. Fortunately, her salvage possessions also include a jangling money purse on her belt, fat and ready to pay the traditional freedom price of her current pow her current bounty. Haha, -ha, I can read. As much as your crew could subdue her, all are relieved once she is aboard a lifeboat, rowing away through the darkness towards Gainer's Mound. Gainer's Mourn. Whatever. I got money. Okay. Also, he Don't you dare forget me! Uh, you stand on the bridge with the likely, likely lass's locket in your hand. I can keep it. It's a risk to both of you. Shorebound lovers grow lonely, and Z captains die young. Or I can throw it away. With enough time and effort, you could break her heart. Or she yours. Now we're gonna keep it. Ooh, I lost a terror. 
His ear is cold, but your heart... But the heat of your blood has warmed the metal locket. Keep it close. Cool. Wasn't expecting to encounter the pirate poet. No wonder I took so much damage. Jesus Christ. I might have even one-shot one of my earlier ships. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna lie. Early runs in this game, like my first couple, sailing across the sea was fucking terrifying because I was expecting, like, subnautica levels of giant monsters to be in this game. They're not. I mean, there's a couple of stuff the size of your ship and one or two things bigger than your ship, but for the most part, it's it's not that bad. It's not that bad. The fucking worst is Mount Nomad, and like it's a literal fucking mountain. Uh, I do need to go to Khan's heart, uh, Khan's shadow. How do I want to do this? So my end goal is up here somewhere, and I've already taken almost half my hit points. Do I go Khan's Shadow to Pigmoat to Nuncio to Polythyreme, and then go north from there? I think that's the correct play, because I do need to go to Pigmoat to get repairs if I'm going to do this big of a run. Oh, the fucking Pirate Poet. I was not expecting to see her this early. Yeah, she did like 70 damage, and she is not that far. Like, I found her here. That's not very far from London. I mean, I had the Memento Mori, so she got fucked up. Fucking ruined her day. Got a bunch of money out of it. Which is good, because I'm pretty sure I need money for that mirror catch box. Alrighty. To the morn. Uh, da, 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 da. collect your ill-gotten gains, gather intelligence, explore. Hey, I'm gonna explore. What'd I get? Contest of riddles. Fisherfolk, sailors, and a shady couple of likely pirates. And is that a drowny down by the water's edge? They sit around a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something viscously black. They're wagering on riddles. Will you join them? Okay. Bet an echo on one of the simpler riddles. Seek a real challenge for ten echoes. Attempt one of the riddles of Pearl. At the Fathom King's feasts, the guests challenge one another to answer these riddles. You need not pay the penalty they do. But you will need to stump up a hundred echoes to challenge the drowny. Or attempt one of the great riddles of Irim. Who is this? In lion-colored furs, the firelight's edge. I carry one of the great riddles of Irene, she intones. Her eyes glisten. One thousand echoes against a jewel from the pillared sea. Oh. Wow, I would, like, eat shit at that. Um, um, I'm just gonna do a simple riddle. <laughs> the answer is a cat shadow. I gained an echo. Oh, that was fucking useless. Uh, gather intelligence, sure. A dislike of spies. You and one of your more villainous looking sailors join a dice game. Villainous looking, but you know for a fact that she ties to charity and has a delightful singing voice. The topic turns promisingly to pillage and ambush, but your zailer is a little too forward with her questions. There's a scuffle and a stabbing. You escape. Aw, she does not. Aw. Aw. She donated to charity. All right. What do I got at the shops? Uh, I can't sell the poetry here. I can buy fuel very expensively. All right. To the con shadow. I think I can sell the poetry there. Or maybe offer it to the Drownies. I forget. I really do forget what the Drownies want because I very rarely interact with them. I could probably go kill sharks. 
to repair my hole too. But I should visit Pigmoat. I mean, I know for a fact that those of you still watching want me to go back to Pigmoat. Like, for real. What am I gonna do? Not visit the rats? The fucking ghettoed guinea pigs? Like, what? Come on. You, you know. You know I'm gonna visit them. What I'm not gonna do is fuck around with the Conate. I don't like these assholes. Also, I sunk one of their ships, so they're a little pissy with me, even though, like, they shot first. Goddamn Mongolians. Turn down my shitty ball. So, how the Khan, the Khanate works, is it's this fucking Chinese bureaucracy, even though they're Mongolians. Um, so, you need to go to the foreigners' dock and, like, do shit for them and befriend them and, like, suck a couple dicks. And then they're like, okay, okay, you can visit the real city now. But I don't want to do that. I've never found anything that makes me want to do that. I could also stop by and compile port reports, but they get pissy at you for compiling port reports because they don't like London too much. Uh, compile a port report. That's pretty much all to do there. The dearly departed. I can sell double bone dice here. Oh, I could sell my wine here. Fuck. All right. Oh. <sighs> I can... Oh, no. Empty mirror catch box. Bam. There it is. Got it. Oh, I can buy outlandish artifacts here, too. Expensively, though. I do not have that kind of money right now. Uh, I will buy some reasonably priced fuel, because I don't like getting too low on my fuel. Yeah, that's good. Okay. If I remember correctly, the Devil Bone Dice is relatively cheap, shot, so I should be fine there. Alright, we're gonna swing around the northern end of Khan's heart just to fill out that map. Gonna go to Pigmoat, then the Nuncio, then to Polyphyreme to get the Clay Man, then go north and really hope the mountain is right here. And then we'll skirt around here and hopefully not get eaten by Mount Nomad, because that would fucking suck. Uh, just to remind myself, that's F. Yeah, F. F to go fast. Pay respects to, Sh to Sonic by going really fast. <clears throat> yeah, my my experience is going up because I'm finding named places like Wolf. Is that an actual boat or a docked boat? I think that's docked. Oh, House of the Ancestors. Yeah, Kanite's heart is fucking huge. Khan's heart, Khan's glory, Khan's chateau. Oh, much honor to honor to boo. Katana, no, 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 no. I really don't like the Khan eight. Fucking dicks. A bora gate. It'd be cooler if John Wayne was in charge. Howdy, partner. I'm Genghis Khan. Fuck, the 1950s and 60s were weird for movies. Okay, let's go to Pig Moat. Scuttering and chitting in the corners of the hole. Humped shadows on the deck rail. Ratsy air emboldens vermin. Yeah, before you learn what's actually in this game, moments like this where it's just nothing but the Black Z around you, it's like, oh god, some horrible sea serpent's gonna rise up from the waters and just fucking eat my ass. And not in the fun way either, in the, like, fucking murder way. Alright, let's, let's say hi to the rats. Hope I don't fuck up their civilization. Hey, oh, Marina! Uh, ooh, that's actually expensive. Compile a port report. I'm gonna help him resolve a dilemma. The rats and kiwis like quivering on canvas sheets in part of the town. We think it started from something in the water, whispers the aide. We thought we'd contained it, 
but it's spreading. Oh, fuck, they got the COVID. Our medicines are powerless against it. What do we do? Uh, do we burn the infected part of town or do we quarantine? Uh, uh, fuck it. Quarantine doesn't work if people are dicks. Burn it. Okay, cleansing fire. The simple huts light easily, and the flames take the dead with them. The rodent, rodents watching agree it had to be done. The one who drew the short star rubs her eyes with a paw, quietly murmuring something about the smoke. Uh, gained a might, lost a spirit, resolved the dilemma, and gained 50 fragments. Okay. So, last time we lost might and gained spirit, so we're staying... Okay, they have adequate might and both their argumentative and spirit. All right, so we're not really making any gains or losses there. Uh, I'm gonna go to the ghetto. Broker union, smuggle supplies into the ghetto. Uh, oh, when no more than five. Okay. It's like, what the? <laughs> For a second, I thought I was looking at my supplies. I'm like, when the fuck did I only get four? All right. I'll smuggle food. Uh, sick. They regained the, the spirit. They're content now. Hot shit. I lost two supplies, but that's fine. The slide delivery, same thing we did. And we... <laughs> what the fuck, guinea pigs? You fucking idiots. I bring you in two crates of supplies. You give me the mystery box, and the mystery box has five supplies in it. No wonder you people lost the war. You can't do math. You fucking idiots. All right, now I need to repair. Okay, uh, full repair, but it cost me 145 echoes. Uh, I much rather would have done that with, with favors, but I guess whatever. All right. I think I'm gonna, s uh, but the port report though. Yep, time to go to Nuncio. Yeah, I've, I've really explored this particular area of the Z. All right, denuncio, then pull fire ring. <clears throat> Nuncio is one of those places you need to bring Foxfire candles. Uh, I think you need like seven or eight, like some ludicrous amount to do the quest. Nuncio, Mangrove College, and uh, the fucking Monkey Island, whose name I forget. All those are places that need Foxfire candles to do their quest lines. I'm not going to go to the Far East Islands yet. Not on this run. I mean, I'm well equipped to handle it. Because uh, let's see, what's out there? There are... There are the fucking sea urchins whose name I'm forgetting. I can outrun those. Oh, wow. Those rats are getting fucked. That's funny. Oh, I need to go north. All right, well, continue to get wrecked, losers. Oh, are they escaping? Are they getting out of it? I could sink them, but then I'd have to go into that mess to get the get the shit, so nah. Oh, I think they're getting out of it. Don't give up rats. Alright. Back to post office island. Uh bu -bu -bu assemble port report. Cataloging all the peculiarities of the place takes many pages. The tailor who imports gift guilt buttons on the tailor who imports gilt buttons and braid just to keep everyone's uniform in condition. The fashion of wearing a post bag with nothing inside. Wearing it open, wearing it upside down, torn apart, or as a hat. Wearing it in any way that will show it doesn't have letters in it. Then there are the sitting rooms, papered and cancelled stamps. The... Burma... Bergamot pomegranate curd on toast? What the fuck is bergamot? The commerce in rat corpses. The hatred of cats. The absolute custom... The absolute custom against ever issuing a paper invitation for any event, no matter how formal. Uh, it's the familiarity, the not quite Londonness of the place that makes it so odd. Okay. 
Uh, I'm not gonna do anything dead letters right now. I'm just gonna grab a random package off the beach. Uh, da, 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 rescue. Ow. Ah, rolled bad on that one again. Fuck. Ooh, I don't need any of this right now. <clears throat> dead letters. I know that quest line ends. No, there's the fucking prison over here. We'll be doing that later. Ah, dead letters ends with either a captivating treasure or a or dread surmise, I think, which is like the highest tier of secret. Excuse me. Skirt in this fog bank here. You know what's fucking really fun? Going through a fog bank and then having it clear and you're on top of one of the like screaming sea skulls. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up. Paul of Fire Room's a fucked up place. I don't like it. I don't like it when my pants are alive. Yeah, yeah, that's Obey definitely has teeth. Uh, gather intelligence, same thing. Shore leaf. Drink beer that wails from cups that sob. If you like that sort of thing, Jesus Christ. Oh, even the food's alive. Oh, this place is so fucked up. Uh, do, do, do. How many hold? Oh, I got plenty of room. Cool. All right, come on. Get some clay men. We are for London. Sick. Shops. We are clay. All right, cool. That, that's really all I want to do there. Oh, and over here is the Sintelac place. I don't need to go there just yet. All right, so now we go north into the unknown. All right, looking at the map. All right. So we have two spaces. Irem's here. Ah, uh, the mountain could be all the way out here. I mean, in, in some ways, that's a good thing, because it's a nice refueling stop all the way out there. But in other ways, fuck. Uh, we're going to go due north and hope for the best. All right. Tides of appetite. All right, this is the place with the with the skull faces. Yep. Man, I am not superstitious, and I know how this game works, but I still refuse to sail directly over the chomping mouths. All right. Unfinished pirates. I don't really want to fuck with them right now. And I really did not realize the Sintelac place could spawn this far north. Oh, they spotted me. Are they going to chase me? No, no, it looks like they're fucking off. Okay. Send out the bat. Bat. Bayat, find me islands. Uh, something underwater to the northeast. I'm not doing anything underwater just yet. I mean, technically, technically, it's not a bad idea to, like, right from the word go, do underwater stuff. Because underwater isn't that much more dangerous. And there are more ports down there, so you're just kind of, like, doubling down on shit. What? Fucking useless Z-Bat? It's right there. It's like, there's nothing in range. It's fucking there, you idiot. All right. Well, here's where I wanted to go in the first place. So sick. Got it right on the first try. All right. Brimstone. Always brimstone. All right. Shops. Double boom dice is sick. They are dirt cheap. So I need... Okay, I, I bought one too many, but that's fine. Um, supplies. Yeah, fuel at nine. It's the cheapest anywhere on the fucking islands. All right, so story. Solemn lights glow green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port buildings, the island is knee deep in ash. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Far above, the mountaintop flickers red just for an instant. Uh, 
Engage an officer. Merciless Modicite. Chat with the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the atrocities of devils fled here. No. The aristocracy of devils fled here. Here, they plot an exile. Sure, we'll do that. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there, and we stay down here. Hell's fighting itself. That's good for all of us, isn't it? Ah, oh, you're not wrong. I'm going to explore the island. A privateer encampment. There was an empty cliff top above the bleak waters. Now it blazes with color. Striped tents, colored flames, the music of pianolia and kettle drum. Mustachioed women and languious men play chess, carve bones, eat cats, and polish their terrifying brass weapons. These are Iron Republic privateers, pirates whose practices contravate the very laws of nature. Contravate, contravene, counter fuck. Uh, oh, I don't want to do either of these. I'm gonna creep close and eavesdrop because I have a 72. Fragments of meaning. They speak, they are speaking of a raid on the Khan's glory from which they stole pieces of prayer of a boast that a rival band made from which they stole pieces of prayer of a boast a rival band made about stealing the Empress's wedding dress or of a solid sp or of a sort of spiced meat which fills the heart with love. But they spoke to almost coherently of privateer lairs in the Western Wall, of passwords in use, of brass embassy protocols and the turning techniques for drawing lost souls closer. Tuning techniques, I'm sorry. A buzzing rises in your brain as you listen until your eyes become unfocused and your tongue feels thick and heavy. You creep away before anything worse can happen. But this is an odd and useless... But this is an odd and useful miscellany of facts. I've never seen miscellany used like that before. Uh, that's all for now. I got six frag... Ugh, fucking six fragments for one terror? That's a bad change. All right. Whatever. We're done here. We're almost broke, but the, the venturer is going to give me 700 echoes for this fucking dice that I spent, like, 100 echoes on. Oh, cool. The, the, the demon boat. Nope. Nope, we're not gonna fuck with you. 300 to 200. Yup. Nope. Nope, 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 nope on a rope. Alright, we're gonna sail along the northern edge here. You can't sail north off the map from pretty much anywhere. Because these are just icebergs, it's not a solid landmass. Uh, I would not recommend doing that lightly. Because like I said in previous episodes, sailing off one of the cardinal edges of the map can fuck you up. Alright, is this the lighthouse with the giant moth? I think this is the lighthouse with the giant moth. Which we might take a quick little looky-loo at. And then fuck off. So that's attached to another quest line that we're not dealing with at the moment. What the, where the fuck am I? That's just a fucking rock. <sighs> Northwest, mark it on my map. Is this the Avid Horizon up here? Ooh. Yeah, that's... Yep, the Avid Horizon. Haha, <laughs> fucking correspondent. I don't know what I, any of these mean. Fucking giant ass World of Warcraft gate, I swear to Christ. All right. The Avid Horizon. This is the end. Two vast winged shapes guard a gate of something like resin, smooth but uneven. It is a deep gaunt, the color that remains when all of the colors have been eaten. Ice crusts over cracks between its veils. Val <laughs> Approach and your breath freezes. Falls thickly. 
approach and your breath freezes, falls thickly, tinklingly in shards from... I'm just going to try that sentence all over again. I apologize. Approach and your breath freezes, falling tinklingly in shards from the air. It would be utterly foolish to touch the thing. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes through without effort. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The dock lies empty. Okay, so we can explore the shoreline. That's beginner's luck. We can open the high gate. A curious miscellany gathered from all across the wide Black Sea. Your companion knows how to use these materials. Look into the stars. Stars float in the mirrored night. Stars float in the mirrored night of the waves. Watch them a while. Gather intelligence or hear a story. By the ice gate's edge, there, are, there was a whisper about a hunting quest and a final revenge. Uh, I'm gonna explore shoreline, beginner's luck, go! An abandoned expedition. A ragged tent flaps in the freezing wind. Ice encrusted bones lie tumbled at the flap. Someone came here to be forgotten. Oh, god damn it, I got a free mirror catch box. Fuck. All right, Outlandish artifact, terror, supplies, and an eyeless skull. What the fuck? Thick plates of bone have developed over the orbit. As if it. As if to hide or protect them. They are smooth and cold to the touch. Ergo light glimmers in the line of the jaw. Ugh. All right. Gather intelligence. Nothing moves. The stillness is itself of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. And then what? Okay. Shops. Of course, there's fucking nothing. Okay, what does my hold look like? That is the wrong button. That is still the wrong button. Oh, sick. That was perfectly on. All right. Wait. The skull's a fucking mascot? Okay. So my mascot is an albino tinkerer, a comatose ferret, a blimigan gallivanteer, or a fucking skull. Okay. All right. Uh, we are now going to visit the fucking church down here. Because that's where shit goes down. And uh, we're going to do that with clenched buttholes because this is the area that Mount Nomad spawns. And I'm at full health, so I should be fine if I see Mount Nomad, but I'm still going to run the fuck away if I see that bitch. Because I'm not currently equipped to deal with her. Okay, I don't see her. The Chapel of Lights. Do you hear music? Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many, many candles. <clears throat> A bell tolls in the chapel tower. Cracked iron laughter. The where this aisle is full of voices. Can eat the chapel's bounty? Give a nightmare to the well? Gather intelligence? Attend a service at a chapel? Uh, I'm gonna gather intelligence. A smiling priest in a red Cossack tends the, tends the chapel. The congregation are a shy light. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my voice is getting cracky. <coughs> the congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it is strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you know the name of a ship or two. Uh... Yeah, hey, guess what? You find this fucking church right at the end of the world, and they're like, hey, come eat some of our food. And you're like, yeah, fuck that. Can I buy anything here? Nope. Okay. Check the map. So if that's Frostfound over there, I don't really care about Frostfound right now. Do I go south and risk running into Mount Nomad? I think I'm going to go south. Oh boy. Oh boy. See how unlucky I get. Okay, I don't see her. I don't think she spawns this far south. Okay, she wasn't there this time. Good. Because that bitch is huge. Like, if you like them thick, she's a fucking landmass. 
Oh, I'm not found of, fond of Mount Nomad. When you get the compulsion of... Is it the compulsion of markets or compulsion of the bazaar? I forget the name of it. When you get the best engine, uh, yeah, you can run rings around her and you can fucking grind her for uh, treasures. So she is a really good place to get a lot of money. But also risky, because if you like, if you fuck it up, she's like a Dark Souls boss. She will clap you something fierce. Shepherd Isle. Uh, yeah, let's take a picnic at the Standing Stones. A peaceful afternoon. Your Zaylers watch the fireflies shimmer. Swamp shanties pass round the grog and shy stones at the... And shy stones at the more vampirically inclined Z bats. Oh, okay. They throw rocks at bats. Got it. Grasses nod in the breeze. Across the dark water, the lights of Abbey Rock glow watchfully. Okay. Pile of port report. Oh, you can pick up the Sigil Raven Navigator. Sick. Thank you. The nonsense here has distracted for a while, but only the Z can call me now. Ah, oh, my God, the air. The air. It's clear already. Let me try to course for you. Ah, oh, my head, my head. Sigil Ridger Navigator is fucked up. Okay. We'll go buy a little bit more fuel and then we're gonna set sail. Uh, I don't think I can get any more port reports from Station 3, so that's not important. So... We'll hit Abbey Rock, Salt Lions, Vendor Bright, Low Barnet, Hunter's Keep. Got it. Okay. I should be able to get there on 8. I should. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hope I don't fuck this up. Because if I do, I'm dead. Ah, fuck it. I have so many supplies, I can burn supplies, no problem. And the venture is going to give me a lot of money for this fucking dice. Time to go to Fraggle Rock. Compile the port report. And fuck off. Abbey Rock is not very interesting. Right, what's the button for this? T. Got it. Just in case. All right. What does my hold look like? Yeah, I have enough space for... Wait, no, it takes like 20, I think? Uh, we might just get a poor report from that place. And not money. Ooh, it's one of the jellyfish monsters. A baked breeze rises. The improbable scent of stone of some distant desert. You are close to the salt line. Zeal port and the salt lions. Not a lot to say about these guys. Just doing the very British thing of destroying priceless relics for funsies. All right, salt lions. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Twenty units of cargo. I do not have that. Port report. Visit the Unmakers. Yeah, okay, cool. Just the same shit as last time. All right. Nothing new or interesting here. All right, and then cut straight to Vendabrite. Where I can start the quest line to get one of the cooks. Because the uh, fungus man was like, hey, if you go to Zombie Town, they got a really good chef for some fucking reason. I'm just gonna go a little bit in reverse. Just fuck this crap up. Yeah, the Memento Mori is so ludicrously powerful. Boop. God, I can kill so much crew and it fires so quick. Yeah. Only downside is it's forward facing. Forward facing is kind of a bitch to deal with. Butcher it for supplies. Mm, delicious. We got a lot of crab. Oh, God, my fuel is going down faster than I thought. So if memory serves, uh, this type of boat I'm in right now is what I will do full runs in. 
like, yeah, I can do, I could get like the Dreadnought and be this fucking tank, but that thing is so fuel hungry and so slow. Oh God, it takes forever to get anywhere. I mean, it is nice to have a rear facing gun though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I might upgrade to a frigate at some point. But, uh, this little fucker is nimble enough to get around. It has good cannons. It has armor to not get one-shotted by shit. It's not bad. It's not a bad boat. <gasps> Unfinished! Oh, fuck. A grating roar from below decks. One among your clay man cargo missing something unusual, like obedience, temperance, or a sense of humor. Uh, ugh, I can't wait it out because I don't have a secure compartment. I guess we have to destroy it. 60% chance. A savage battle. Clay men are strong as stone. Unfinished men may be fierce. Unfinished men may be fierce as lambs or meek as kittens. This one is not a kitten. At last, it lies shattered. I succeeded. I lost one of the clay men and one of crew members. Fuck. A fucking red shirts. I don't have infinite numbers of red shirts, damn it. Yeah, if you run out of... If you get down to zero crew, you just fucking lose. Alright. Uh... Oh, damn it. I was supposed to bring wine to this guy. Oh, wow. That needs a lot of wine. Uh, no, we'll deal with that later. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about you. I'm not gonna worry about you. Visit a certain restaurant. A corkscrewed street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street. Welcoming yellow light glows from a Lint lettered window of a restaurant. Sign leads Vengeance of Jonah. A beefy Tomb Collins bustles up. A, gri a gray mustache pokes in. Impertinently? Is that what that says? Yeah. A gray mustache pokes impertinently out from his bandages. Come in! Come in! It's a cramped little place but it's much better lit than most places in the tomb colonies. The sense of dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. Uh, sample today special. Uh, I don't have enough money. Offer a strange catch. Recruit the bandage poisoner. I don't have enough money for any of this. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, the first curator, gather gossip. Uh, explore Vendebrite. What do we got? Monumental ruins. Uh, I... The builders of this place worked with great slabs of neath wall stone, carved with blank eyed, unsmiling features and blocky stoic serpents. Uh, the Neath is rarely gentle. Treat this place as enemy territory. Sure. What do we get? Ancient stones. You're just about to interpret these. You can just about interpret these glyphs. They speak of a god who li lives in the roof. A walking dream of storm. A memory of rage. The god the glyphs claims, claim destroyed this temple. Oh, I got a little experience points out of that. Okay. Visit the first curator. Z captains the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the presentation of the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here for much longer than London and likely the oldest. Okay, it has been here much longer than London, likely the oldest tomb colonist, but even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. It's time is close. So this one is just a giant fetch quest, and the final reward is a fucking boat, and the boat is not as good as others, so I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Okay, four fuel should be enough. Go kind of a little closer than I like, and what the fuck? Did a boat just vanish? I think a boat just vanished. Huh, I normally don't see things despawn in this game. That was interesting. Okay, what else we got? Are you a pirate? Are you London? Where am I going? dum de dum hmm. Are you a pirate? Are you a pirate? Yep, you're a pirate. 
Oh wow, you're a piece of shit, pirate. Wow, you're gonna get shrecked. Wow, my shit gun almost one-shotted you. Fucking losers. Alright, what do we get? Uh, ooh, Firkin of Prisoners, honey. That's neat, I guess. That's also legal. All right. Uh, so let's let's swing by Low Barret to drop this dude off, and then go to the Hunter's Keep. Uh, obstruction. Blah 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 blah. Let me go underwater. God damn it. Okay, fine. We'll go to Hunter's Keep first. Mm. Ooh, that's the wrong button. To Hunter's Keep. Boop. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to lunch with Phoebe again. Sure, why not? I gain a memory of distant shore. It, it's the same story we got last time. I got Storm's attention. Uh, two lovers parted by water. Raven carried their message. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. I got supplies. I don't need supplies. Oh, I could immediately go back with news news. Shit. I'm going to reconnoiter the island and visit the cellar. Okay. Uh, what do I need? Oh. Uh, okay, why? All right. I have a clay man. I have a memory of distant shores. I have a tale of terror. Do I not have a Z story? Okay. News, news. I'm gonna go with Cynthia and hope I get a Z story out of this. Oh, I got a tale of terror. Fuck. All right. Cynthia grasps her arms and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. Seems as like you're sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to the story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood scented on water. Another chop, Cynthia asks. You barely touched your food. Here, I have made wrap it up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. Shit. I have all this garbage in my hold and I still don't have a fucking Z story. God damn it. All right. Uh, I hope Low Barret has stuff for Z stories. I can only hope. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do that on another run and keep a lot of shit in my hold that I don't want to. All right. We are now underwater. It's super spooky down here, you guys. It's dark and scary. I don't like it. All right. We... I understand. That can go away now. All right. I'm going to deliver the wandering parson. Call to worship. You're here with tales... <clears throat> You'll hear... You'll hear tales here from distant trenches of the undersea, and some of them might even be true, but the strangest ones are jealously guarded. Light from the dock glints in his eyes, hidden mysteries and pillant listeners. Pliant listeners. He glances at you, then gathers up his luggage. Won't you join me below for a while? An explorer could learn much of value here. Uh, da 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 da, boop boop boop. Uh... Trade stories. Do do. Speak of the Anthay. Oh, I trade port reports here for other shit. Okay. Can't do that. Witness the contest of stories. Uh. Boo boo boo. Competition is in progress. A voluble visitor tells of the Sideways Regiment, a plunderous legion of trained crabs. First, they present a mighty collective shell. Then comes the onslaught of a thousand nippers. Why, I only escaped thanks to the timely cloud of ink from my squid, which I befriended from a, which I befriended for precisely such an occasion. The unlikely story wins a claim from the congregation. Whilst her rival slumps, disappointed. Yeah, disappointed. The visitor waves her top hat and per, uh, proceeds to the bell tower. The doors behind her close. Uh, I'm gonna follow her to the bell tower on the list. Two surly vergers block your approach from the door. One points back at the congregation. Only winners allowed, he grunts. 
Ask about the competition. Regular listener, you approach an apprehensive seaman who is sitting in the dis- who's staring into the distance, perhaps imagining marching ranks of crustaceans. You ask what happened here. The competition? The best story wins. Captain says it's all in the delivery, but you'll need a fine yarn to spin, too. When you inquire about the winner's reward, he gaze, his gaze turns wistful. If you're lucky, the light... If they're lucky, they get taken up. Wish I had a story to tell. Okay, go about my business, I guess. Chimes. A few souls linger, gazing at the closed doors of the bell's tower. You have turned just away to hear a sonorous bong from the bell within. It peel... Its peals repeat every few seconds before becoming abruptly muffled, then falling silent. An excited murmur runs to the congregation. Although you keep an eye on the bell tower, the winner does not emerge. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Story contest. I need more. Lock, 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 lock. Chumps. Can I buy anything here? I can buy stuff with Z stories. Damn it. Damn it. Gag blast it. So, when you do Submariner stuff, um, there's a bunch of other ports you can visit. Uh, it's also super dark down there, so it's harder to see stuff. Uh, you can go down into each of the, uh, the rifts, like this one right here, and there's a quest line for going through all of them. I forget what you get from that, honestly. I think one of it's an... Like, you have the option of an ending by doing all of them. And... Uh, there are different monsters down there. I don't think anything is stronger or weaker and oh shit oh god damn it no okay oh, 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 oh. okay uh, 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 uh okay okay i just had like a technical thing happen so uh we're gonna we're gonna stop it here i guess <laughs>